it was the boat on the side, more towards Southampton than the island, um, with a lot of activity, helicopters and boats around it, um, hopefully rescuing people that were on there. But it's very, very dark, so it must be quite difficult not only to see, but also for the rescuers. Yeah, it was very dark, and uh, by the naked eye, we couldn't see a great deal. Um, it was the camera that highlighted the photograph more, uh, that you could see what was going on, but obviously you could see the the flashing lights of the boats and the helicopter and the torch lights around the cargo ship. Um, they were quite clear to see and bright from land. What's the weather been like? Because that will also make a difference. Today's been quite wet and rough, uh, but it's quite calm tonight. The Solent seemed to be quite calm. Um, there was no big waves hitting or anything like that. Uh, it's, it did seem quite flat and calm. And Andy, I don't know how much of an expert you are on uh, how the waters are around there, but did, it, did you get the impression that possibly this ship was too close to land? No, you couldn't really see where it, where it was, but it was certainly quite away from the island, more towards Southampton um, okay. than the island. OK, put it this way. Do you normally see ships as big as this? This is a 100-metre long uh, car-carrying boat. Do you normally see such large vessels coming this close to the land? Because if it's hit a bank, you would have thought that the captain would know what that, the situation was of the waters around there. Yeah, like you say, I'm no expert. But, yeah, on a daily basis, we see huge cargo ships and cruise ships um, going up and down the waters here. It's, it's, it's nothing unusual for us to see.